It's the NFL on EA Sports. And if it's in the game, it's in the game. It's the New York Giants and the Carolina Panthers next on Madden Football. It's been the home of the Panthers since 1996. Bank of America Stadium in Uptown Charlotte. We welcome you to EA Sports coverage of the National Football League. So good to have you with us, Mike Tirico and Greg Olson here in the booth. Carter, these are a couple of teams that struggled a year ago, finished out of the playoffs. They were under 500, but that's what you love about the NFL. A new season brings renewed optimism. Absolutely, and really, Mike, a lot of new faces at critical places. I mean, there is a lot of new pieces to the puzzle here, both coaching staff and the roster of players. They believe last year is over. They do not think there is any correlation between the squad they're planning to put on the field today and that one that we saw really go through some growing pains and struggles just a year ago. The veteran kicker, Greg Joseph, will get us started here. And off we go from Charlotte. This returnable from the four. And he'll be brought down right around the 25-yard line. The Panthers coming out, and they're led by their quarterback, Bryce Young. Rocky rookie season for the number one overall pick out of Alabama. But, Greg, here's the guy the Panthers hope can get this franchise going in the right direction. When he was taken as the first overall pick in the draft a couple years ago, Mike, certainly was not because of his physical stature. It was because of his mind. It was because of his processing ability. It was because of all the intangibles that they believed they saw in his days coming out of Alabama. Now, he's gotten some experience under his belt from a rookie year that had its ups and downs. He has all the talent in the world. Now he's got to go out and just capture it and make it happen. They get 11 and quickly pick up the first down. We met with these coaches during the week, Mike. They told us the emphasis this week about getting the run game going early. And we see it here. Nice first play pickup. Fresh set of downs. Young to throw on first and ten. He'll find his tight end, Tommy Tremble. And they'll get about half of what they needed. It's a pickup of five and sets up second and five. Receiver in motion, headed left. A second down throw for Young. That's to the rookie from South Carolina, Xavier Miguel. And he'll be taken down. The gain is six, and it's a new set of downs. He picked up the first down. One of the easiest ways to negate these really good pass rushes in the NFL, Mike, is just to simply get the ball out of the quarterback's hand as fast as possible. And sometimes it's by design. Sometimes it's based on need. But really nice job there by the quarterback. Get into the hands of his receiver and then see what he can do after the catch. Depending on the situation or the down and distance, Mike, the linebackers have different reads. Sometimes they read the offensive lineman. Sometimes they read the running back. In this case, his read brings him right to the play. He's able to make a big stop and keep the game to nothing. Tremble comes in motion. Look at play action with Young. That's right side, taken in by Tremble. And they'll hold him to a gain of just a couple and sets up third down. Out of the shotgun, Young. It's Pop Mingo with the ground. 11 yards on the connection there. It's a Carolina first down. These are the kind of plays that when you draw them up on the chalkboard, Mike, they all look great. But if you can't protect long enough, you're never going to get the receiver. I mean, think, he started on the left side of the formation in the slot, and he has to run all the way across the field to the right third. I mean, that takes a lot of time. Let's give a lot of credit to the big guys up front. On first down is Young. That one taken in right side by Lee Get. 
And he's close to another first down as he's brought down just shy of the marker. We'll come to the line now on second and two. Mingo, the man in motion. On second down, Young. Catch is made, that's Mingo. And that's going to be a first down. A pickup of nine. Well, I think it's pretty clear what the week's plan was, and that was to get the quarterback in a rhythm right out of the gate. You got to imagine as the game unfolds, they'll sprinkle in some runs. But so far, it's been their passing game to get this game started. And that last one results in a first down. They'll be forced to just throw that one away. It's incomplete. You can't fault the quarterback on this one, Mike. He really didn't even have much of an opportunity. By the time he hit the top of his drop and got his eyes downfield, the defense was all over him. And he really had no choice but to just get that ball out of his hand and live to play another snap. On play action, Young. Terrific way to start this one. Not only a touchdown, but a nice long march down the field. Makes it a long walk back to the bench for the defense. Mike, that's about as good as you can imagine starting a game offensively. To be able to sustain that many plays and be able to cap it off with a touchdown. That is a dream start for this offense. On now, Eddie Pinheiro for the extra point. He gets it to go, and the Panthers will take a 7-0 lead. So now, after the touchdown, Pinheiro out to kick it away. On the return, it is Tyrone Tracy. And he'll work this one past the 25 to right about the 28-yard line. The Giants let out by their quarterback, Daniel Jones. Here he is. It's year six in the NFL. He was the sixth overall pick back in 2019 out of Duke. And Jones still at the helm for the Giants. He spent a lot of time, Mike, over these last couple days speaking to the media. And the thing that jumped out to me was just how confident he was in his team's preparation ahead of today's game. Now, only time will tell or not whether it makes a difference. But if his confidence is any indication of how they're going to perform, this could be a tough team to beat. That'll be caught by the running back, Singletary. It'll be taken down rather swiftly after a gain of just three. So you come back out here after watching the opposing team score first. And what you want to do is you got to establish a little early rhythm and get the drive started. Get a little positive energy into that huddle. And what hopefully starts out good ends with you being able to get some points of your own. Here's the man side from Houston. It's Devin Singletary. And tough running there. He's up to the 32. The tackle there by Shai Tuttle. And five. In motion, it's Robinson. Jones going to try and throw on third down. He's going to find his receiver. It's Robinson. Mike, I think we make so much of all these fancy routes, right? The selling, the head fakes, getting in and out of the break. And while that's really important to create separation, that's really more of a man-beater. That's when teams want to just play you one-on-one -on -one and you have to beat the defender. Against zone defense, like we saw here, it's a lot more simpler. Understand the concept of the play, understand where the holes in the defense are, and get there and be friendly to the quarterback. And if you're open, stay open. 
That's NFL route running. That's what the best guys do. Hook him up on a second down and eight. Play action, it's Jones. And that ball in and out of his hands. It is incomplete. Might tell you after the game, he should have come up with that one. He doesn't, and now third down comes up. They told us this week they were going to try to come out fast, and tell you what, that's exactly what they did. Put immediate pressure on this secondary and let them know, hey, all game long today, you better defend every blade of grass because we're coming out firing. And even though that ball falls incomplete, it goes a long way in setting up the rest of this game plan as the game unfolds. A bit of a pedestrian game for this quarterback and ultimately with his passing game here today, Mike. And I know they all would have loved to connect on that deep throw. I think that stat sheet would have looked a whole lot different, but just a little off in their execution and leads to an incompletion. Now, a fair catch, and it's going to be a long field. They'll take over right about their own 13. The Panthers' offense is going to take over now for the second time. They'll begin inside their own 15-yard line. So a lot of real estate to cover. It's first and 10. The motion man is Sanders. On first and ten, here's Young. Open man downfield as we get. And he'll be taken down up past the 40 yard line. We talk so much about starting fast and then trying to sustain that throughout the course of the game. That's exactly what they're doing here. They've got their early lead, but they're not content to just sit on the ball. They're looking to extend it. Nice start here to this drive. Once they cross midfield, then it goes into go mode. You're trying to come away with points every single time you have the ball. It's a good way to start this game here in the first quarter. Young to throw on first down. His tight end tremble over the middle. He's close to a first down to gain a nine. Nice pitch and catch on first down. And this is where the versatility of the tight end position really starts coming into play. Not only do they have to line up with their hand on the ground, but they can occasionally split out in the slot. And man, they're too fast for linebackers, and a lot of times, they're too big for defensive backs. And he'll have enough to move the chain. He'll take this forward for about three yards. This offense, they're not interested in taking the deep shot here. Second and short, the way they're running the ball, pound the rock, reset the downs, and just keep the drive alive. Here's first and ten. From the gun, it's Young. That's caught, it's Miles Sanders. And they bring him down, but not until they get inside the 30-yard line. Every once in a while, it just comes down to you need somebody in the huddle to just make a play, and it wasn't a whole lot fancy here. The quarterback just dumps the ball down, a quick underneath completion, and then really it's the yards after catch that did the rest, and that's what it takes. You're not always going to have the perfect play. You're not always going to dial up the perfect play against the perfect look. Sometimes players need to make plays, and that was a good one there. Oh, a short throw there, but it's going to end up incomplete. That's a pass you say he should have had. Instead, he does not, and it brings up second down. A rare miss for a quarterback that we've seen really come out on fire throughout this entire contest. I mean, his completion percentage, Mike, is well above league average, and frankly, it's really the biggest reason why they find themselves out in front. And he will take this down, close to a first down. Pickup of nine. They've got him a yard short of the sticks. Now, after the run, we get a stoppage for an injured player. And as the medical staff looks him over, we'll step aside.
Looking to keep a promising drive alive. It is third and a yard. Young. Pass into the hands of Lingo. And the Panthers are looking at a first and goal. He's taken down at the two-yard line. I love the way the ball's been moving around to different guys this drive, Mike. I mean, it really keeps the defense guessing and off balance. And now this defense is going to have to figure out how to keep this offense out of the end zone because it's first and goal. Two yards from six points. It is first down and goal. They'll run with Hubbard. And he'll go down back at the four. Every team makes an emphasis on winning first down. But as a defense, when you're able to take them back for a loss, second and long, you can really become more of a pass-centric defense and really tips the scales into your favor. Now back at the four for second and goal. Tremble comes in motion. One more time, it's Hubbard. Let's give him a yard down to the three-yard line. Big play coming up. Third and goal. They'll try to run with Hubbard. And he's so close to breaking the plane, but the official's going to come in and mark him short. So now it's fourth down. So instead of going for the first down, in comes the field goal unit. Bit of a surprise here. This, about as short as you can get. He is two for two. That kick is good. And the Panthers will extend to a 10-0 lead. You know, I think it's safe to say here, Mike, as this offense leaves the field, they wanted to stay out there and go for it. But I think in this case, the coach is playing the long game. He understands that these three points now can end up being very valuable as this game moves along. So the lead is now 10-0 as this kicks away. Tracy now to return it. And they'll bring him down just shy of the 30-yard line. The Giants offense ready to see what they can do on their second possession. The deficit is at 10, so an important drive forthcoming. Getting started with first and 10. In motion, it's Robinson. Jones now on first down. He keeps it himself. How about 25 yards to start the drive? First down. You know this defense worked all week defending this quarterback as a scrambler, as a runner. But sometimes it's just hard to simulate until you see him in real life, his speed, his ability to create. We saw him get him here early on a big scramble. He's able to pick up the first down and keep the drive alive. He'll run again. And he'll get this forward for positive yardage as he covers up in the end. We are through one. The Panthers off to the early advantage and will return to Charlotte in a moment. Second and seven. To throw is Jones. A short one there to Bellinger. That's a 
first down. It will be a gain of eight. Not a whole lot complicated about this play, Mike. That was understanding where the holes of the defense were. Remember, in this zone coverage, you got to find green grass. Get past the first down marker. Be friendly to the quarterback. And then the ball has to be out on time before those zone defenders can react to the receiver. It's exactly how it played out here. You can drop all the fancy plays you want, but when the quarterback and the receiver see it through the same set of eyes, it's virtually impossible to stop. J.C. Horn that time with the good coverage, and he knocks it away. We'll try again. It's second and ten. And the gun, it's Jones. And he's going to slide to a stop and avoid the contact. But since he started there, he's still shy of the first down. Take a look at his eyes. You can see the quarterback clearly going through all of his progressions, and he's quick to realize there's nowhere to go with this ball. He makes the right decision and gets out of there, picks up some good yardage, and gets down on the ground. He'll try and run for the first with Singletary. And he will have a Giants first down. At least it appears that way. He got it maybe by the length of the football. Really just the same approach that an offense would take on a quarterback sneak, Mike. You don't necessarily have to spring them for a huge game. Can you buy just enough space up front to pick up one yard? That's exactly what they did. Pick up the first down. On first and ten, here's Jones. And they'll get about half of what they needed. It's a pickup of five and sets up second and five. The receiver thought he had a nice soft spot in that zone coverage, and he settles down to give a nice target to the quarterback. But the defense had eyes on him the entire time. Secure rally tackle prevents that from turning into a big play. Working from the gun, it's Jones. Down inside the 10. And the Giants are going to have a first and goal coming up. They try to finish off this drive with six points. And what really stands out about this drive is the ability of the quarterback to really spread the ball around to multiple targets and put so much pressure on the defense deciding who do they want to account for because no matter who they try to take away, the quarterback's doing a nice job of finding the open man. Well, a chance to get right back in it here. First down and goal. Whistles here. Looks like one of the defenders got a head start. So now, from half the distance closer, here's first and goal. The motion there, tight end Johnson. They look to run with Singletary. Powering forward. He's in. Devin Singletary. Touchdown, New York. When you think back to their first possession of this game, Mike, it resulted in a punt. Not exactly the fast start the coaches told us was so important as this game unfolds. They get the ball back for possession two. Now they try to find some rhythm, find their identity of the game plan, and they come away with six. So that's how you bounce back in this league. It's not always going to be perfect. Really nice job settling into this game here with their second possession. Teams ready to go once more as the kicks away. Raheem Blackshear on the return. He'll work his way across the 25-yard line. Here's the Carolina offense now as they head out to take over for their next possession. They lead by a field goal as they go to work with a first and ten. the bootleg. 
leg. It's Young. Oh, a short throw there, but it's going to end up incomplete. That's a pass he say he should have had. Instead, he does not, and it brings up second down. Even though it doesn't result in a sack, when you dial up the right pressure at the right time, Mike, sometimes that's all it takes to lead to that incompletion. The timing is just a little off between the quarterback and his intended target, and the ball falls incomplete. Throwing on second down, Young. And that's going to be incomplete. Coverage was good that time. The contact jarring the ball loose and forcing third down. Just seems like another case of predetermining where the quarterback is going to go with the ball. He had a lot of good route options on that last concept. I think if he just remains a little bit more patient, read the play out, let it unfold, will lead to some easier and better completions. He manages to get the throw away and completes it. And he'll be taken down all the way up past the 45. What a luxury. There's certain teams where they have a guy like this. I mean, not only is he the big target, but then to have that size and speed to run away from these linebackers and do so much of his damage after the catch. So they come to the line for first down and 10. Young hands it to Hubbard. And that'll be a pickup of three. They face second down and seven. Here's Young. Back into the hands of Hubbard. And he's not going to be able to get away. Very good coverage on the perimeter. It goes down as a loss of yards. I think this play is a direct result of his film study. He knew exactly where that ball was going before the play was snapped. And that play recognition, man, it separates a lot of guys in this league and results in a negative play. Out of the shotgun, Young. He'll try and get there on the ground. He's going to be brought down very close to that line to gain. They're going to mark him just a bit short. And now it's fourth down. The defenders knew a pass was coming. They had their ears pinned back here on third down. But they initially allowed him to escape the pocket and make a break for it. But give him credit. They recognized the scramble quickly, rallied to the ball, stopped him short of the first down. They'll go. Young. Looking left side is tight end Tremble. Offensively landing a lot of body blows on this drive, Mike. Just the ability to steadily march the ball downfield and remain so efficient, both run and pass. As they continue to wear this defense out, they have to find a way to end this drive with points. Anything short of that would be a bit of a letdown. Young to throw on first and ten. It'll be taken down rather swiftly after a gain of just three. Tremble comes in motion. Short one caught by Sanders. And they whistle him down, but not before he picks up a first down after a gain of seven. We hear the term RPO so often, Mike, and it continues to kind of trickle its way into the NFL. But remember, it's a lot different in the NFL than it is in the college game where it's a lot more prevalent. The lineman cannot go downfield. So that quarterback has to make a lot of really fast snapshot decisions or else it's going to lead to a penalty or him holding on to the ball too long. So it's something that teams want to implement, but maybe not quite to the level that we see in the college game. Up until that incompletion, they've done a really nice job on this drive, Mike, picking up fresh sets of downs. 
And typically, throwing the ball on first down is a great way to do it. But now they find themselves in second and ten. Do you keep it in the air and try to get the first down here? Or is the idea to just make third down manageable and take your chances picking up a key third down? So often, the only way to combat the perfect blitz call is to beat the blitz with the ball. That's exactly what the quarterback does here. He's able to find his open man and get the ball out of his hand because he holds on to that ball for one count longer. He most likely was going to result in a sack. protecting the sticks. So let's just throw it over their head and try to go for a big play. Back to throw. Young. He's hit as he threw. It goes to the ground and it's an incomplete pass. They got there in a hurry, didn't they, Mike? I mean, luckily for him, he saw that free rusher coming and at the very least was able to get that ball out to prevent the sack. They'll try it again from the two. Second and goal. They're trying to run it. It's Hubbard. And he'll just get up inside those big bodies out front. And he's in. Cuba Hubbard. Touchdown, Carolina. Taking care of business on the ground to get the score. And Greg, the big guys up front, they deserve some praise on that one. Absolutely, Mike. And it really only takes one guy to distort the defense and win his block. But in this case, give credit to the entire unit. They did their job, and they reward their offense with a touchdown. Pinheiro on for the extra point. It's up and good. Panthers will get out in front 17-7. to So now, after the touchdown, Pinheiro out to kick it away. This taken at the five. And he's brought down right at the 25-yard line. The Giants offense running back Devin Singletary back on the field. They find themselves down 17-7 to as this drive starts first and ten. Singletary. A modest game. Maybe two yards. It's second down. Throwing Jones. The ball deflected at least a couple of times, but it'll fall to the ground. It's incomplete. There's a fine line between trusting your arm and having a little bit too much faith in your arm, right? I think this is one of those situations here, Mike, where there was nowhere to go with the ball. He tries to fit that one in there anyway, and he's lucky that it just falls incomplete. Throwing is Jones on third down. Oh, and that throw not able to be pulled, and it's incomplete. Looked like he may have got a little ahead of himself there. And it's going to bring up fourth down. And on that third down, they thought an easy way to pick it up and get some positive yards would go to their quick game. But it didn't seem like the receiver and the quarterback were on the same page. And that brings up fourth down. Blackshear to return. 
And he'll get forward a few yards on the return. And that's where the offense will take over. The Panthers offense and Bryce Young set for their next possession. And he has done everything you could ask of him coming into this one. Spread it around, hasn't taken many chances, and potentially on his way to a big game throwing the football. A fresh set of downs to work with. It is first down and 10. To throw is Young. Oh, a short throw there, but it's going to end up incomplete. That's a pass he say he should have had. Instead, he does not, and it brings up second down. So the receiver does everything right, except for the most important part. He runs a nice route, with great, great separation downfield, but now you just got to finish that thing off with a catch. Mingo, the man in motion. A second down throw for Young. Oh, and this one's going to wind up incomplete. That's one you'd think he'd be able to corral. He can't find the handle, and it's going to lead to a third down. Throughout this entire game, we've really seen this quarterback operate very efficiently, not only being able to spread the ball to multiple playmakers, Mike, but really complete a high percentage of his passes. So can't let that last incomplete break what's been a really nice rhythm so far. And that is incomplete. Not exactly the type of drive to write home about, Mike. Three passes, three incompletions, no yards gained. And I really can't blame any of these fans who have continued to voice their frustration, especially after that last series of play calls. On fourth down, the longtime special teams ace, Johnny Hecker, on to punt. Panthers have Amir Smith-Marset out for the return. And that is good coverage by the punt team as they meet him and bring him down. The Giants offense ready to take over once again. They'll start out first down and 10. Singletary to begin this drive. And that one shut down pretty quickly. He'll get back to the line of scrimmage. Nothing more. Mike, I have to be honest. When offenses come up with run play designs, blocking the corner is not really a big priority. But in this case, great job. Not only forcing it on the outside, but defeating the block, coming up and making the tackle, and keeping it to no game. Again, it's Singletary. And the D closes quickly. He stopped after a gain of a yard. Trevin Wallace in on the tackle. They need to get to the 29 here, facing third down. Shotgun now for Jones. He'll try to run for it. And he's able to gain yardage out of this one before he slides. Two minutes remain here in this first half. Back to Moore from Charlotte. After this, here's Jamie Gillen on now as he's on to punt for the Giants. Now, fair catch will be taken out near the 35-yard line. The Panthers offense starting to trot out for this next possession. Their lead is 10. They go back to work trying to add to it. It begins with first down. To throw is Young. Looking middle there but it's incomplete. The pass intended for Xavier Leggett, and that will lead to a second down. Here in the first half, we've seen nothing but connections from these two guys. I mean, they've come out completely on fire, so the defense finally gets a stop, and really the first time we've seen these guys be a little bit off. On second down, Young. 
Mario gained yardage and able to get down at the end of the play. Initially, Mike, a really good job by the defense. Nowhere to go with the ball for this quarterback. He's forced to pull it down and turn into a runner. A little slow reaction, and he's able to actually pick up a pretty good game. Third down, three to go. And look middle, and he's got his man complete. 17 yards on that play. It's good for a Panther first down. And that's an important conversion, not only because it keeps their offense on the field, and now they can go down and see if they can steal some late points, but either way, worst case scenario, Mike, if you're the offense here, you want to possess the ball going into halftime. Don't give your opponent a chance to go down and score on you. So big pickup there. Now we'll see if they can turn it into some points. And he's going to have the first down. They're also in field goal range at the 28-yard line. The Panthers will take their first timeout as the clock stops with 46 seconds remaining in the first half. First and ten. Now Young. To the right cut by Sanders. And he's close to another first down as he's brought down just shy of the marker. The drag route is such a good way to get the ball early into the hands of your tight end and take some pressure off the quarterback and give him an easy completion. The size and the athleticism allows them to try to pick up more yards but do it after the catch. That's over the middle to his tight end Sanders. And they'll get him down after a gain of five, but that is enough for a first down. On play action, Young going to wind up incomplete. Not much time remaining. Time for one more snap here in this first half. That's one he'd love to have back. An opportunity to score six was right there for the taking. Just wasn't quite meant to be. Eddie Pinheiro going to come on to try a field goal now. He is two for two. That kick is good. And the Panthers going to tack on three more extending the lead here late in the first half and that's a really nice boost here before the break I mean you work the clock well you're able to steal some points the biggest thing is you're able to build a little momentum now going into the locker room at halftime So, two seconds left to play, and the kick's away. Tracy now to return it. And he's going to be taken down as time runs out on this first half of play. So, we have reached the intermission in what is right now a 13-point game. As we'll head down the coast now to Orlando. That's where we find Jonathan Coachman. Ready with our EA Sports Halftime Report. Coach. Okay, Michael, thanks very much. And with that, we welcome you all into our EA Sports studios. This is the Halftime Report. All right, Coach, second half, drawing me. Glad to have you back with us here on EA Sports. Pretty interesting first half. We'll see if any strategy changes for the next 30 minutes or more as this second half gets underway. He'll get this up to the 28-yard line. Nice place for the drive to start. The Giants offense going to have a first crack at it as we begin this third quarter. The deficit is double digits, so work to do as they begin this drive with first and ten.
Singletary now on first and ten. And he'll only be able to muster a couple of yards. The veteran Josie Jewell there for the stop. Second down and eight. Here's Joe. That's going to be caught by Darius Slayton. And they'll work this close to a first down, maybe just a tad short. The drag route is certainly not the most complicated route on the route tree, but a really nice job there using the scheme to create separation. He did a really nice job there working across the middle of the field as he made himself open. Jones to throw on third and one. He's going to have the first down and more. And they'll get this one down to the 35-yard line. Whatever they've talked about in the locker room at the halftime break seems to have worked. They've come out with a new established energy. You could see it when they took the field. Now this offense seems to be building on it because with that chunk play, just a little bit of rhythm that they can build off of. They got a long way to go to get back into this game, but so far off to a good start. On first down, Jones. That's taken in. What a catch by Neighbors. Nice job here by the defense. Did a good job just covering up everything for the most part, so... Once this ball was caught, he really didn't have much of a choice but to just head out of bounds and pick up a modest game. Again, it's Jones. And it's caught. It's Robinson. And that's a first down. It will be a gain of eight. This one is caught by Robinson. And no chance to turn and go. That one's good for just a couple. Receiver just finds himself in a really nice groove. And there's these weird times in the game, Mike, where it just seems like every ball comes your way. Every play they call, you're wide open. And you just find yourself in one of those grooves that athletes talk about. So they got to continue to ride the hot hand because right now on that field, there's no mistake in who it is. He'll pop this ahead for about four, but it will set up third down. The motion there, tight end Johnson. That's to the end zone, but they can't come. And it's incomplete. Blake Neighbor, the intended receiver. And that's going to lead to a fourth down. I like the idea of taking your shot there on third down, pushing the ball downfield, looking for the touchdown. But now as it brings up fourth down, you're already this close. You're in field goal range. But do you keep that offense on the field and try to maintain possession and see if you can come away with six? And I can tell you firsthand, Mike, when you find yourself trailing in a game, you don't feel very good about coming away with field goals, but in this case, it does get them a little bit closer and cut into this deficit. The kickoff team is out on the field. And we're back to it as the kicks away. On the return, here comes Blackshear. And he'll be brought down just beyond the 25-yard line. The Panthers' offense and their quarterback set to take the field once more. And he has been a nightmare to scheme against throughout this one. This defense has been picked apart. That is borne out in those impressive numbers. He has been terrific. All game long.
They'll start this one with a three tight end look. Get this drive started on the ground. It's Hubbard. And finally, they'll bring him down, but he's up beyond the 45 yard line. It's a combination of footwork and vision, his ability to kind of weave through traffic and understand where the holes were. It's a really nice job working through some bodies and picking up a big game. Tremble comes in motion. On first down, it's right back to Hubbard. And this time they are ready for him. He'll be thrown for a loss. No big game that carry. It's second down. The speed and the get off by the big interior defensive tackle, Mike. I mean, he got through there so fast, he almost took the handoff himself. After the loss of three, it is second and 13. Young with a give to Sanders. And he'll get forward for about a yard. Isaiah Simmons comes up to end that one. Third and long. From the gun, it's Young. And that is incomplete. I'm not sure if it's this big lead or if it's just this second half pressure getting to him, but that's just a careless throw by the quarterback. And don't let this lead fool you. Throws like that can change this game in an instant. And this defense knows they gave him one and they let him off the hook. And we will not have a return here. This one angled out of bounds. Here's the Giants offense. Now they get set to take over once more. They'll start it here with a first and ten. down at the Giants 24 yard line a big play and a much needed one as well 32 yards that's the mindset I just love seeing from a running back Mike his eyes weren't just on that first down marker they were on getting that first and some on top of it that's pretty impressive we'll go back to Singletary on first down He's taken down just shy of the 10. Finding yourself down here multiple scores in the second half. The defense is going to give you some friendly run looks. So don't be afraid to mix it in there. But if you're going to find yourself coming back from this deficit, you're going to have to do it primarily through the air with just a little bit of mix of the run. On first and 10, here's Jones. Quick slap looked in by Neighbors. And he's brought down after a game of six on first down. A gift to Singletary on the zone read. Maybe a couple there. It's third down. No 
try to run this one in. And this time, he's in. Devin Singletary. Touchdown, New York. That is second touchdown of the afternoon. Greg, sometimes we say it too often. That was an important drive. That one really felt important for them to edge a little bit closer. Yeah, now the question is, Mike, yeah, the offense does their job, but can the defense get a stop? They've got to continue to get the ball back to their offense. Let them build on that previous drive because they've still got some work to do. Here's Joseph now for the extra point. The kick is good. And the Giants are back within a field goal. The lead is three. team's offense headed back to take over once more. They'll see if they can put something together here, beginning with first and ten. Out of the shotgun, Young. Oh, a short throw there, but it's going to end up incomplete. It's a pass he say he should have had. Instead, he does not, and it brings up second down. Oftentimes, it's the wide open ones that are the hardest to catch. It seems like the ball is in the air forever. You start overthinking it. You start really making more of it than what you should, and you let it slip away. Shotgun snap, and the run. Here's Hubbard. And he's going to be very close to a first down. That's a good run there. Maybe just a couple of feet short. It's tough to completely celebrate, Mike, when you don't pick up the first down. But that's a run you will take every single time. I mean, good yardage in a lot of situations, it'll get you the first down, just not here. They'll try to run for it with Hubbard. Trying to drive his way forward. I think he is short, and he is. That means fourth down coming up. And what a play by the interior of this defensive line. There was nowhere to run. He's able to get in the backfield for a big stop, and it sets up fourth down. Hunting time for the Panthers. Set to kick this one away. And no run back here. Fair catch taken at the 17-yard line. The visitors' offense and their running back getting set for this next possession. This one has been tight so far. A field goal separating the two sides. As this drive kicks off with first and ten. No motion there, tight end Johnson. He's got his man, that's Slayton. Seemed like the receiver might ran through like five different open zones, but once he found the one that he liked, where the quarterback was expecting him, you see him do a nice job throttling down, secures the catch, and he's able to pick up a nice game. An enviable spot to operate from. Here's second and in inches. Now Jones on the bootleg. Now a short one caught by the tight end, Johnson. Well, we'll give a little credit here defensively. Even though they allow the first down, we've seen defenses really struggle bringing this big tight end to the ground. And they didn't allow him to pick up a bunch of yards after contact, but he was able to get just enough to pick up the first down. They'll come up here first and ten. Here's a run with Singletary. 
Daniel managed to get this ahead for a pickup of five. They'll break the huddle. It's second and five. Gun, it's Jones. Toward the middle of the field that time, but incomplete. For the most part, he's been very accurate with the ball. He is completing over 60% of his passes, but because they haven't been able to get any big explosive plays, continue to push the ball downfield, hasn't really translated on the scoreboard just yet. Jones going to try and throw on third down. He's got his tight end. That's Johnson. Two receptions for him on this drive. This one good for 16 yards. Third down is when we see so many tight ends around the league really make their money. They operate in the middle of the field. They're a big, easy target for the quarterback. And even if they are covered, Mike, they're not really ever covered. Jones now on first down. He'll look deep here for neighbors. Malik Neighbors. Touchdown, Giants. This is a great example here, Mike, of an offense and a quarterback that is just in complete control and rhythm. Not only is he able to deliver this ball on target downfield, but the accuracy is what allows his receiver to stay on his feet, pick up the remaining yards after the catch, and walks it in for a touchdown. On is Joseph for the extra point. The kick is good. And the Giants have taken a four-point advantage. kickoff team is out on the field and we're back to it as the kicks away now return coming from the seven and he is stopped at the 25 the drive will begin then they'll break the huddle coming up now for first and ten Off the play fake. Here's Young. He's going to keep it himself. And Young will have a first down, able to slide to avoid the contact at the end of the play. So we are through three. We'll return with more after this. This is the NFL on EA Sports. They'll come up first and 10 at the 40. They put a receiver in motion to the left. On first down is Young. That's over the middle, but it's incomplete. Really nice job there by the defense defending the middle of the field. That is the most valuable real estate on the field. They know every single offense is trying to attack the defense between the hashes, so... Give credit, they took away all the throwing lanes and that ball falls incomplete. They'll stick to the ground. Crazy. They're gonna work this down inside the 45. 
This is one of those cases where having high-end speed in the backfield can be such a game-changer. The offensive linemen don't need to hold their blocks quite as long. You give this guy a little bit of a crease, and man, he is gone. Tremble comes in motion. He'll run, and they're going to get him down this time. Not as easy as the last carry. This time they drop him behind the line of scrimmage. Second down. Anytime the running back is forced to chop his feet in the background and never get to top speed, you know that play's not going anywhere. And that's exactly what the defense was able to force here by getting penetration. Great job there stopping this play before he had a chance to even get started. Tremble comes in motion. They'll keep it on the ground. And there's defense up to the task there. Game of just two, and it's third down. to throw. Young. And they're going to track him down. He couldn't find a receiver. And down he goes. That's a prototypical coverage sack. All 11 guys on the field doing their job. Starts with sound back end coverage. Nowhere to go quick with the ball. The quarterback has no chance but to extend the play. Look for something late developing downfield. That was all the time this front needed to chase him down and bring him down for a sack. On now is the punt team for the Panthers. They'll be forced to punt, trailing here in the fourth quarter. So that one's going to land out of bounds, and the official's going to mark it right at the 20-yard line. The visitors' offense, and they're running back, getting ready to go back to work. And he has put in a full game's work, and then some. Just an incredible performance on the ground to this point in the fourth quarter. The drive begins at the 20. Here's first and 10. Shotgun now for Jones. That's complete. It's Malik Neighbors. And will mark him down up beyond the 30. A lot could go wrong anytime you decide to put the ball in the air here late in the fourth quarter as you're trying to run out the clock and protect this lead. But at the same time, I like that they haven't gone super concerned. Just hand off right, hand off left, and it just turns into tackling practice. So I like the balance of making the defense defend everything, because right now, possess the ball, protect the ball, and ultimately, just run the clock out. A couple of big plays to start this drive. How about 17 on this one? And this running game has really been rolling, Mike, all game long. The holes, the run lanes, they've been there consistently. Here's another nice run as they look to put this game away. Here's first and ten. Throwing now is Jones. He gets that complete downfield to Slayton. And he's into the end zone. Slayton, touchdown, New York. Everything you want to do right there, Greg, in the fourth quarter, get the ball with the lead and extend it to a two-score advantage. Yeah, and I think this just might end up being too much to overcome. You said it. Once you get a two-score lead this late in the fourth quarter, there's just not enough possessions to be had to claw yourself back in it. Here's Joseph now for the extra point. He's got it. And the Giants will open it up even further here in this fourth quarter. Teams ready to go once more as the kicks away. A 
safe kick taken at the five. And this will work out quite well. He'll get it all the way out to the 30-yard line. The home team's offense back onto the field for their next possession. They'll begin with first and ten. Blocking up front, paving the way for a gain of eight on the ground. He'll come to the line now on second and two. The motion man is Johnson. A second down throw for Young. That into the hands of Hubbard. And that's going to be a first down. A pickup of nine. Things certainly look a little improbable right now, Mike, but I wouldn't say impossible. I think they've got to capitalize on this possession to pick up some points. Every single possession right now is priceless. Points, possessions, and then they've got to get some defensive stops. They'll go play action with Young. A toss, left side, caught by his running back. A gain of 11 on that one. It's a Carolina first down. And this is a tricky part of the game for any defense. You find yourself protecting a late lead, and the age-old question is, do you remain aggressive? Do you try to just keep the ball from being thrown over your head and make everything be tackled and played in front of you? That's what every defensive coordinator struggles with, so they can't get too soft here as they try to hold on to this lead here late. And he's going to be out of bounds, but they're going to mark him inside the 10-yard line. A big play and a much-needed one as well. 37 yards. If you want to score points at a high level in the NFL, you have to generate explosive plays. And after that big chunk pass play, they find themselves now down there in the red zone, and this is where you have to finish drives. Now a chance to pay off that big play. They have it first and goal. The motion man is Sanders. They'll run with Hubbard. Down to the four, it'll be second and goal. get one of the defenders to jump. You got we'll try it one more time, but now a bit closer. It is second and goal. They're trying to run it. It's Hubbard. Two touchdowns for him now on the afternoon. Greg, they are pecking away at this one now. Very big touchdown. Gets them right within reach of pulling this comeback off. Well, Mike, at the very least, they've given themselves a chance. But can they get a stop and get the ball back again for a chance to go down and really make this one interesting? Here's Young. And he will get into the end zone. The two-point conversion is successful. And game on. Lead is down to three here in the fourth quarter.
So they've cut into the lead. Now just a field goal behind as they kick it off. Here comes a return from the five. He'll be brought down right around the 25-yard line. The visitors' offense. And they're running back. Set to go once more. And as we look at the highlights, you see it's been tough to stop him here today. A couple of touchdowns in this ball game. He has, without a doubt, been the driving force in this offense so far. From 25, he'll go to work. First and 10. He'll give it to Singletary to begin this drive. And he'll get two on this one before being taken down. He'll come up on a second down and eight. Now, Jones. Oh, and this one's going to wind up incomplete. That's one you'd think he'd be able to corral. He can't find the handle, and it's going to lead to a third down. Well defended there. The quarterback's trying to attack this defense outside the numbers. Those really wide angle throws near the sideline sometimes can be very hard to defend, so give a lot of credit to this secondary. They were all on the same page, and the ball falls incomplete. Open man, that's Slayton. And they will bring him down on the other side of midfield. Everyone talks about all the physical qualities to play quarterback in the NFL, Mike, and of course that's a given, but it's really the cerebral approach to the game that separates the best from everybody else, and I think both of those things were on display there, as he did not only a great job of finding the vulnerabilities of the back end, but then once his guy was there, it was that arm talent that put the ball in the exact right spot to allow his guy to make the big play. On the give, it's Singleton. He is met and dropped. Good defense. Loss of a couple on that play. At this stage in the fourth quarter, great job by the defense, understanding exactly what the offense is trying to do. They're trying to bleed the clock, shorten the game. They completely sold out to stop the run, able to take them down for a loss. They'll run once more with single trip. And he'll be very close to a first down. Won't quite have enough, but now a much more advantageous spot. You know, there's all this talk, Mike, about the value of the run game in today's NFL. You know when the run game matters? It matters right now. Fourth quarter, you've got the lead. Can you lean on your running back and offensive line to close this game out? We'll try and run for the first with single turn. And he didn't need much. I don't think he got there. It's going to depend on the spot. Looks like he is short on that one. So often when it comes to safeties, Mike, we talk about their speed and their range. But for him to be able to come up and make a tackle and be physical at the point of attack and keep this ball carrier to no gain, that's pretty impressive. So this now, a pressure spot for Greg Joseph. This to stretch the lead to more than a field goal. And he has missed this one. No good. And this lead will stay right where it is. They're just trying to extend the lead here, and this is definitely one they're going to want to have back. The Panthers offense getting those helmets back on, ready to head out for their next possession. They'll have very good starting field position as they set up past the 40. Set to go now on first and ten. Tremble comes in motion. Young to throw on first and ten. Looking left side is tight end Tremble.
Throwing on second down, Young. Jonathan Mingo, the intended target. And it's going to bring up a third down. And the success of this play, Mike, all comes down to the timing of the defender. You get there a little bit too early, you risk pass interference. You get there a little too late, it's a big pass completion. Timing your hand and playing through the ball is something they work on with these defenders all the time. And next time they throw the ball downfield, I wouldn't be surprised if they target somebody else. The initial reaction is, how does this quarterback not throw the ball past the first down line to gain to try to extend this drive? And the reality is, because they've already decided they're going to go for it on fourth down. Trailing late, they've got to go here. It's fourth down. They'll go for it with Hubbard. And he's going to have the Panthers, and he's going to have the Chargers. A little test of wills up front, huh, Mike? I mean, who wanted this one more? Who would get off the line quicker? Who would drive the other side backwards? Pretty impressive that not only are they the ones that won the battle, the defense knew it was coming and still couldn't stop. Mingo, the man in motion. Young to throw on first down. Work in the middle of the field, but that is incomplete. I think that play probably results in a completion if that protection just holds up a little bit longer. It was that initial pressure in the face of the quarterback that forced him to get rid of that ball a little bit earlier than he wanted. Disrupts that timing, ruins the play. On second down, Young. They'll be forced to just throw that one away. It's incomplete. This is one of those situations that plays directly into the hands of the defense because think, Mike, they know this offense has to be one-dimensional. This has to be a pass. So what do they do? They bring in extra defensive backs. They clog up the back end. And at the end of the day, there's just nowhere for the offense to go with the ball. From the gun here on third down, it's Young. And that is incomplete so often Mike you can see these offenses and it looks like the passing game gets a little bit too predictable and as the defense continues to flood the back end of these zones with extra defenders they're continuing to force this quarterback to not only make some difficult throws but to put the ball in harm's way now or never they'll throw on fourth down and he'll let it go deep for Johnson So this offense, they think this is a prime opportunity to go for it through the air on fourth down. But this defense was having none of it. Nowhere for the quarterback to go with the ball. No easy completions. And this defense forces a huge stop on fourth down. The Giants offense and Daniel Jones ready to get going once more. And he has been in control of this offense. Want to run you through some of the action from earlier on. We've got the two touchdown passes over 200 passing yards he has been excellent all game long so they come to the line for first down and 10. the drive starts with a carry by singletary and he's going to be taken down, and that will take us to the two-minute warning. Here's a second and six. Again, it's Singletary. So, first down the two-minute warning, they'll use another timeout on this side of it. 155. This crowd into it now as we get to third down. They'll drop the throw. Left side in the hands of neighbors. Whistles here and a timeout. Defense going to take this one with 1.51 to go. Up 
the middle. Here's Singletary. And he'll get forward for a couple. It's second down. The Panthers, they're going to burn their third and final timeout. And they'll get together prior to the second down play. stoppage for an injured player that is a worrisome development here late in the game Still with all three timeouts at their disposal as the quarterback's down to an E. Give them 14 on that one. That's good for a Giants first down. This is the moment in the game, Mike, where it really matters to have a run game. You find yourself winning here late. You want to try to run the clock out and finish with the ball. And boy, do they ever. Give credit to this offensive line and running back. They came through when their team needed them the most. 